And the third and final spot to patch on the roof is where it's leaking into the soffit. I had to pull the soffit down. As you can see, all the two by fours are eaten up. So, it has to do with right in here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll find out where the stair step pattern is. And obviously it's gonna be right up in here. Probably go up to here and the stair step pattern and come back. Place the decking if it needs it. Make it come out to here. Then I'll have to rebuild, rebuild all this framing, the new two by fours and then new self, new soffit and new fascia. So two spots done today, one more to go. All right, all the shingles out. Ready for me to cut the plywood and the shingles back. So basically what you gotta do is you're gonna take off this row of shingles. You have to pull, you have to loosen this one and this one because you got to get this nail. And then of course, when it's nailed in up here, it goes on the top of this shingle. So if you loosen this up, you have to pull the one out of the top. So that's why this is loose and this is loose because I had to get up and get the nail out of here, which was in the which was in the top row of this one. If that makes sense because each nail's got a nail here and a nail here, and it's in the top of the shingles. So I had to loosen this up and this up. And I'll just start from the bottom. And in this case, I'll have to start from the top and I'll slide it up and nail it in and work my way down. And now put these nails back in and then these nails in and work my way down, which is the opposite of what you normally do. Of course, I will put my starter shingle in first and then run a shingle in up here. I'm also gonna have to probably take the, these shingles down as well. And when I cut this, I'm gonna come back in between this line and this line when I grab this nose and cut it straight across there. Good morning. We got to finish this roof repair this morning on the third spot in this house. Let me show you what's going on and we have to rebuild the fascia and the soffit framework. So some of the wood that was up there it's soaking wet like a sponge. It's soft. Shouldn't be able to do this with any wood. So I gotta rebuild the framework up there and then put the decking and the shingles back on. Got the framing for the fascia and soffit rebuilt. I had to use wood that I took down out of a fur down in a house earlier this year. Got this piece of decking laying in here. And this piece of decking ready to go. Screw it all down and put the fascia and soffit on. So the price of the lumber astronomical. It's the only thing you can do is to reuse lumber. Almost done. Put the soffit on and the shingles. Ready for tar paper and shingles. Gonna do a French drain in the valley here. So you gotta make sure these shingles run up and under here. Here. I gotta put that piece here. It's not only up here, but then I wanna run my line this way. Water can't rush up in here. It drains out. One more row to run, and then I can run these. All right, one run done. I got that row in there. I need to cut that, and I got to put one, two, and a small piece in there, and then cut my line. My French strand will be complete. Okay, there you go. That's part of the roof repaired. All right, third and final repair is finished. Shingles on, soffit, fascia rebuilt. Now after I power wash the house, I'll caulk everything, including this, and paint it. So there you go. Took me 
all in all, probably eight hours if I stayed on it just that for the three repairs.